My name is Wen Hui Feng. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Public Health and Community Medicine in Tufts University. My colleagues and I recently published a paper on dollar stores and food access in the American Journal of Public Health. I'm here to tell you what we've learned. The findings in this study does not represent any official USDA view or the view of the data owner. To start, I will give you a little background on dollar stores. The absolute number of grocery stores in the United States has been declining since the Great Recession. Meanwhile, dollar stores have rapidly expanded their retail footprint in recent years. This is largely driven by the rapid expansion of three major national chains, which have primarily opened stores in small rural towns with limited retail options. In addition, dollar stores traditionally viewed as a destination for discount purchases began to offer foods. You may have noticed that dollar stores do not necessarily sell the most healthful foods. The foods they sell tend to be low in nutrients and high in calories. They tend to be shelf stable items. There's not a lot of fresh produce options and there's very limited meat and protein options. Rural communities especially face a substantial challenge with regard to food access. Rural areas have significantly lower food retailers than urban areas. And rural households with low incomes are likely to be located further from the closest food stores. Given that rural populations have higher baseline levels of obesity, food access and the healthfulness of food purchases in rural areas are of great public health interest. In this study, we analyzed the role of dollar stores as food retailers in rural America and the impact on food purchases for at-home food consumption. Our results show that there is substantial growth of dollar stores in the food retail landscape. The primary data set used in this analysis is Circana Consumer Network previously known as IRI. It is a yearly nationally represented panel of approximately 50,000 households that provides a detailed item level account of their retail food purchases. The consumer network differentiates purchases made at different store types, for example, grocery stores, drug stores, and mass merchandisers, and includes dollar stores as a retail channel category. To assess the rurality of households participating in the panel, household zip code data were matched and merged with the rural urban community area, also known as RUCA codes. And there are four categories, metropolitan, micropolitan, small town, and rural. And here are our findings. This slide shows the change of share of household food spending by retail outlets. The reference points starting at 2008 were set to be zero. The figure on the left shows all households and the figure on the right shows households living in rural areas. Similarly, as what we learned in the literature, grocery stores marked in navy color experienced a decline in household food expenditure share in the past decade. We marked dollar stores with bolded red lines. In 2008, households spend an average of 1.1% of their food budget in dollar stores. This number increased to 2.1% in 2020. In rural areas, Households spending at dollar stores increased from 2.5% in 2008 to 5.0% in 2020, doubling their share in household expenditures, making them the fastest growing food retailer in terms of magnitude. This figure shows the distribution of food expenditure in dollar stores by rurality and a few key sociodemographic indicators. Rural households purchase more foods in dollar stores across almost all demographic groups. As income decreased, the share of food expenditures in dollar stores increased. 
households in the South also purchase more food in dollar stores. Perhaps the most notable group is rural non-Hispanic black shoppers. These households spend 11.6% of their food budgets in dollar stores. The concerns surrounding dollar stores and food access center around the selection and healthfulness. The selection of foods available in dollar stores is both less diverse and less healthful than what is typically found in grocery stores. The recent growth in dollar store food expenditures along with the decline in grocery store food spending, particularly in rural areas, raise concerns that dollar stores may challenge and force out local grocers through competitive pricing, leaving consumers with limited and less healthy food options. Localities have already acted based on these concerns. More than 2,000 local governments across the country have established policies to curb the expansion of dollar stores due to this concern. Alternatively, dollar stores may be feeling food voids where local grocers do not have enough business to support maintaining a store, providing consumers with some food options in low access areas. Although both of these characterizations of the impact of dollar stores on food acquisition may be sensible theoretically, empirical evidence is still lacking. We hope our study can instigate more conversation about the role of dollar stores in the food retail landscape and equity in food access. For example, future research can explore questions such as how the evolution of dollar stores changed the nature of foods being purchased by consumers. For more information, please visit the website of the Tufts Research Group on food access at dollar stores or reach out to me directly at wenhui.feng at tufts.edu. We would like to acknowledge the USDA and Tufts University for supporting this research. And special thanks to our research assistants, Bang Yao Sun, Divya Saravana, and Haley Frumkin. Thank you for your time.